epic mountains, epic food, hopefully. This is an unfancy cooking show. It's cold out here, actually. That is the Primus fire hole stove. And I will be cooking homemade shepherd's pie on a tailgate. Say hello to Mr. Chad yeah. from Caltech. So it's going to be homemade mashed potatoes. I don't have an electric mixer, so those will be done by hand. They may be a little bit chunky. It's going to have uh, Worcestershire lean seasoned ground beef and a gravy sauce, mixed vegetables, homemade mashed potatoes, layered with cheddar cheese on top, baked in a freaking oven. And you may ask, hey, where's your oven? Funny you should ask. Well, it's under all that. <laughs> and we're going to break it out. It's that tin Coleman camp oven that we have already proven that works. So here we go. Lots to do. I've got the water starting. We're heating up a little water for some hot cider because it's a little bit chilly out here. Not like freezing, but the wind's been kicking up all day. I'm cold. <laughs> yeah. Florida boy. All right. So these guys are going to be doing whatever they're going to be doing. I'm going to be cooking. I'm going to run some PF9 on the plate rack. Okay. Rock and roll. I'll be uh, cooking. So cool. have fun. Well, I'm peeling potatoes. Okay. Oh, I'm good. Thanks, man. You want mm. some of Nutton's candy? <laughs> <laughs> Help yourself, man. We've been burning the calories. Mm. That is awesome. Isn't that good? It's got peanuts, it's raisins good. in it. We're talking about chunky candy bars, how awesome they are. Yeah, water's boiling. We're going to be cutting up as many potatoes as I can jam into my square pan. I'm talking mashed variety, of course. Baking it. It don't look like much now, fellas, but trust me on this. I think it's going to come together. As long as I can get the meat seasoned just right. <laughs> Crickets. It's a family show. Get my trusty Garuda out. It's a great camp knife. What? Been using it a lot lately. It's excellent. Got these kind of small so they cook quicker. PFI dude's back. This is the crew tonight. Yeah, we're here. We're gonna go waste some ammo. A little bit. Extreme times call for extreme measures. Having the skills a little bit. If ammo isn't hard enough to find. I know. And a plate rack burns Let's it excessively. It on a plate rack. At 40 cents a round, you can just hear the money on the ground. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely correct. It's better than the 80 cents a round on the 308 we were just playing with, though. <laughs> that yep. was totally worth it to me, though. Oh, it's awesome, huh? That's so much fun. This ultra lean ground round. This stuff right here. I got two packages because this might be a multi day adventure. More food again is better. Potatoes coming to a boil. Those guys are playing on the plate rack while I'm slaving over a hot stove. I'm cramming as much mashed potatoes as I can into the baking dish. This right here. The mostly clean baking dish, I might add. For the meat filling, I'm just winging it. I'm going to put in some onion salt, garlic salt, Lowry's, some chopped onion, Worcestershire sauce, pepper, and then I'm going to use some uh, get a bite of candy bar gravy mix that I'll use in it as well. Cooking it as fast as I can.
Man, that's looking good. I like the lean ground beef too because it doesn't have much fat that has to be drained off. This I don't think I'll have to drain at all. Got an onion salt on it. Black pepper, not fresh ground because I don't have time. Got a garlic salt. Whoa, I thought the lid was on that. Dang. Oh no. Too much. Take a little bit of that out. Taste it. Might as well eat it. Mmm. That's kind of salty. Kind of salty. Ah, where's that Worcestershire sauce? Good. Take a taste, see where we're at. Mm -hmm. Need some of this. Check that. That's looking good. Heck yeah. Pour that on there. Mix up our gravy mix. <laughs> Still in it. What we're doing. Yeah. Need some more water. Don't overdo it. We want about medium thickness on this gravy mix right here. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, go on, boys. Mm. Damn, I know how to cook good. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is just about right, my friends. Let's check our potatoes. We don't want to overcook our potatoes because we are cooking them in the oven. In fact, I want them kind of underdone. Enough where I can mash them and mix them, and that's about it. I think one of the mistakes people make when they do shepherd's pie is they overcook their potatoes when they mash them. And then they cook them in the oven, then they're really mushy. I'm trying not to do that, but it's hard because I don't have an electric mixer tonight. That meat mixture is perfection right there. That needs to come off. Pretty good. Put the meat mixture in the bottom. Oh, buddy. Man, that's looking good. And I'm not just saying that. Oh, yes. Daddy like. Shepherd's pie. Out in the high mountain desert. Homemade shepherd's pie. Bros, don't get no better than that. From scratch, mostly. Mmm. Man. That, my friends, is exciting. Now we're gonna do our mixed vegetables. 
This is a mix, frozen mix that I got. I had Chad go buy it. He bought this huge bag. Huge bag. I said, Chad, go get some mixed vegetables. This is what he came back with. A five pound bag? Damn, boy. Whatever. We'll try to use it at the house. Let's cut a little bit of that off. Ooh, a little Endura action. I want to cut the corner off so I can dump them. Not too much water in your mixed vegetables. That should be good right there. Check our potatoes, see how we're doing. Put the lid on there. A little bit of Lowry's in there. A little bit of Peppa. Again, there's really no recipe for this. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. I have done this before, just like I'm doing it now. Just kind of seasoning to taste what makes sense. Let's check those potatoes. Don't want to overcook them. See how they're breaking apart just now? They are almost ready. Almost ready. We'll bring these to a boil and then we'll simmer them a little bit. I do cook them in the pot first. That way they're more tender. Like that. Move this stuff out of the way. These guys sound like they're having fun over there. Potato peel all over the tailgate. Drain my potatoes. I'm gonna do that off camera here because I'm not moving the tripod, dudes. Hoping I don't dump it in the dirt. Actually, that's probably as much as I'm gonna be able to cram into that little camp oven. Home cooking is messy. That's why I hate it. It's time consuming and messy. Let's see where my water situation is. Those are drained. Grab my butter, my salt. Here's my salt right here. Uh, yeah, that much. Deal with it. I gotta get my oven going too. Mix these around a little bit. Ow! Oh my gosh, that's hot. That really transfers the heat there. Looking good. Here comes the oven. And this time I actually have a proper thermometer I'm gonna be putting in it. Let's crank that up. Here we go. Got that off Amazon because I don't think I can trust that one. So we're gonna bring this to about 450 I think. See how that works. See how our cartridge is doing under the stove. Oh, sure enough, that's out. There we go. Homemade shepherd's pie on the tailgate after a long shooting day. Takes me about probably, I don't know, at least an hour to make this. It's, just, it's really not fast. I might even put more butter in that in case you're wondering. Especially with this much potato. I really wish I had an electric mixer though because I'm not going to get really fluffy mashed potatoes doing it by hand. I'll just do the best I can. That's an old school potato masher. I guess they still make those, right? I inherited that one from my dad, who by the way was a pretty decent cook. My mom, in her time, was a pretty decent cook. I think I blow them both away to be honest with you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yep. Oh, dude. Those are beginning to resemble. 
homemade mashed potatoes. Wish I had a bigger mixing bowl because I got lots of potatoes. Let's check our uh, veggies, make sure we're not burning them. Turn them down a bit. Yeah, they're looking good. Veggies are. I turned the veggies on a little bit of a simmer right there. A little bit of milk. How much? Uh, right about there. Right about there. We'll try that out. Wire whip. Oh, this is messy. Heck yeah. Dang, boy. This is going to be good. A little more butter. How about like that? That's right. That's flavor right there. That's flavor country. Putting that in. Flavor country. Dudes. Homemade, nothing fancy mashed potatoes in the wilderness. Oh my gosh, these guys are going to love this. This is really good. These potatoes are turning out better than I thought they would. Not having the mixer and all. Might be a little bit lumpy. That's okay. I know what you're saying, that's the way I like them, nothing. Get that scoop and eat them. Mm. Dirt and all. Damn, boy. That's good. I think we're ready. That's right, that's all I'm gonna do with those. Okay, so we're gonna layer on our mixed veggies, which actually look scrumptious. Oh my goodness. Maybe I will use all those. What do you guys think? Got good color, healthy. Yeah. That's good right there. Okay, with that done, here comes our homemade mashed potatoes on top. We are really gonna crank these on top. I love mashed potatoes. I'm a mashed potato fiend. When they're this good, I am. Seriously, they're nasty mashed potatoes, forget it. Let's just confirm these are good, hang on. Taste test. Mmm. Yeah, buddy. Needs a little more salt. Nothing you and your salt, I swear. I know. Whatever. It does, though. Didn't put quite enough in for this amount. For this amount. Look at that, dudes! Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that looks awesome! Oh, gosh, this is just gonna be slamming. I was telling the guys off camera, I said, I don't know what it is about the Nut and Fancy cooking show, but everything I make on camera has really turned out like awesome. I'm talking seriously good. And if it's not good, I'm gonna tell you guys. We'll see what these guys think, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be happy with this dish. Let's put some pepper for color. If I had some uh, parsley, I'd put that on top. I don't. What I do have though, and this is gonna to get to the, the last stage, is mild cheddar cheese. We are gonna grate the freak out of that stuff and mound it. Spider coat Endura, come on down. Oh dudes, this is awesome. Awesome. Possum. You guys like cooking shows that I do? I like doing them, I think they're fun. Even though, like I said on camera, I'm not a big fan of cooking. Just because the mess and the time, so messy. These days though, I am cooking more just so I can get what I want to eat. At the quality level, I like eating. I mean, to go find a shepherd pie like this at a restaurant, Good luck. 
with the quality of ingredients that I'm using from the meat, everything. I'm buying the best I can find. The best. There's the cheese. Oh my gosh, look at how mounded that is, dudes. You seeing what I'm seeing? That's crazy. Lots of cheese. And we want to really roast this. So we need that little camp oven to come through for us in a major way tonight. I think it will. I'm going to check my cartridge, make sure it's not burnt out because we need that cartridge cranking. We want to get that oven to 450, maybe 425 for the shepherd's pie. Oh my gosh, that looks good. More cheese, what do you guys think? Definitely. All right. It's kind of cool on these cooking shows when I have someone with me that can, one, share in it, you know? They can eat it with me, that's always fun. And then you get another taste opinion, which is valuable. Except for Chad, his doesn't count. It's funny. Funny, funny, funny. That's it. Time to cook. Let's check the oven where our temperature is. Quick pop open. Oh, dude, it's coming up to 350. Guess what? We're throwing it in right now. I sized this at the house, <laughs> making sure it would fit the baking dish. Oh, dudes! It totally fits. Coleman camp oven. That's a little bit better. We'll check on that in a minute. Let's survey the damage from the cooking show. Wow. <laughs> what a mess. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. It is time for the unveiling. Are you, you ready, left. Chad? I'm ready. I'm Kay. hungry. Let's take a look. It's been in the oven only about 20 minutes. Oh. Check it. <sighs> That's awesome. <laughs> PFI, you got to film while I pull it out because that thing seriously is like 14 pounds. Show our, uh, show our heat plate. That looks... <laughs> There's a hot pad. From penetration test, that's a 308 FMJ burning through a half inch mild steel plate. Here we go. Check that Now we're going to see if the shepherd's pile burned through. Uh, uh -huh. Awesome. That looks really good. Money back guarantee, boys. If you don't like it, I'll pay you back everything you paid for. <laughs> <laughs> Which is nothing. nothing. Was Do you again, yeah. okay. okay, who's first? Piffy dude. I got it? the camera. Go ahead, bro. All right. I'll hey, drop this my is plate. homemade shepherd's pie in the freaking wilderness. Dude, that's a massive stuff. Under <laughs> austere stuff. Gosh, you're not going to find better in an English pub. I got a two hand that plate. Okay, let me <laughs> scoop you up there. Oh, I'm going to have to find a spoon. I got, I got it for you. Try not to get saved. <laughs> I guess, yeah. You guys been complaining for hours how hungry we you are. are hungry. Check it. But I am only one person. Dude, that looks awesome. That will hit the spot, boys. That was delicious, bro. That's cold. Thank I you. Like Appreciate it. <clears throat> Hits a spot, Don. Up till Shelby, we're coming over to your place next week for dinner. How's the salt? About right? Mm-hmm. It's perfect. Good. Can you taste the Worcestershire sauce in it? Yep. Good. I think that's, you need that flavor for a good shepherd's pie. You want to have just a little bit of Worcestershire kick to it. It does. The veggies, you don't want them to be chewy. They've got to be tender, so you got to pre-cook those veggies. Homemade mashed potatoes, do not use a mix. Don't overcook your mashed potatoes. They got to be slightly undercooked. That way when you bake it, Apparently at 1,000 degrees tonight. <laughs> For 12 seconds. They won't be overcooked. And then get that cheddar cheese nice and toasty on the top, just like that. It just adds a lot to it. All right, we're gonna take a seat and get serious with eating. Right, PFI? Already there, my friend. <laughs> PFI dude, Chad, thanks for coming out, brother. Thank you. Good food, good times, good friends. 
Memories Made. You have watched another Nut and Fancy cooking show. Come back again. See you.